Okay, here we go. When do I pull the cord? Hello, hello everybody, Bayside here, and welcome to another VR game. Today I am bringing you another Escape the Room style game. Uh, the developer of Escape the Basement, if you saw that video of mine a long time ago, um, reached out to me the other day and was like, hey, we really do appreciate the video that you made. We saw that you did it, and we, we were just really, really thankful for it. So we wanted to offer you a free copy of our new Escape the Room game called Escape Above the Clouds. The premise behind this one is uh, you are in some sort of apartment building. The building itself is so freaking tall that you are actually above the cloud line. Um, that's about all I know at the moment. I absolutely love this style of game, so um, I'm all about doing it. So let me go ahead and jump in here and see if I can figure out how to escape the apartment that's above the clouds. Wow. I feel like I'm in India. I have a cell phone! Yeah. We have a house in India, and the doors are actually, like, head level with me, so... I actually smashed my head on the top of the door a couple times. But let's see. Teleport is this way. That was close! Now get out of here! Uh, oh. oh. Okay. What is this? This is the first of several usable items. Press the touchpad to use. Is this hairspray? It is. It's hairspray foam. Okay, well, let's hold that down for now. It said I'm locked in here. I'm assuming that means I just can't go over here and open the door, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, these things in the first game actually were some sort of collectible. Is that true? I am not sure. Well, so far, I am not off to a good start. Holy crap, I can't find anything useful. I mean, the hairspray was usable, but that's about it. Okay, so this this has got to be what i got to do then. Is there some sort of, like... There's got to be, like, a secret written somewhere that I have to find with this. Wait, do I use this on me? No. Well, dang it. What do I do with this? I am so lost. Oh, damn. I'm stuck. Can I get some help? Hello? Anybody? Where the f*** is the key? Oh my god, I think I figured it out! It only took me 16 years. I have a f coat hanger. Ha <laughs> That was brilliant, you damn developers. Aw, oh, snap. Now that right there is a $10 view. I don't think I would ever want to live this high. I would just be too damn terrified every time I look out the window. Alright, probably safe to assume this door is locked. Oh! Hi. Huh. Okay. This is a really cool looking place. You're locked. You're locked. Oh, I had a feeling I was going to need this. Oh my god! I am gonna have to pick a lock, aren't I? It's for lock picking! Oh, is this my safe? I bet you this is what I have to use this for. Perfect. So it's eight. Nine. Oops. Nice. I knew the stethoscope was going to have to be for a lock. As soon as I saw that like I could actually use it, I was like, uh-huh, that's a lock. Place finger on scanner. Access denied. Son of a... 
Oh my god, I know what the hairspray's for. I f know what the hairspray's for. Alright, let me go get that hairspray. I have to find something that's been touched. And I'm gonna lift the fingerprint off of it. What is this? Oh my god, it is. This is how- Oh my god, this is how I'm gonna do it! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I have to find something that's been touched. Uh, let me leave you guys there for now. Oh, this right here. Yup. Yup, there's my fingerprint, right there. Boom! I knew it! Okay, so I need... Boom. There's my fingerprint. Now I wonder... Can I just pick up this glass and use that as my fingerprint, or do I have to get a piece of tape? That seems- It worked! BOOM! I am so good at these games. HOLY! Martha. Caution, excessive volume may lead to hearing loss. Am I gonna have to... <laughs> Wait, that's not a real gun, is it? Am I gonna have to play really loud music in order to cover up the sound of me shooting something? Oh, I didn't even realize there's a freaking elevator thing right there. I really hope this is not copyrighted music. Ah! I broke the window by playing music? Come on, shatter. Is that what the gun's for now? Come on, break! Let me try that first CD with 100% volume, because it said what listening to this one at 100% might cause issues. Oh my God, that's what it was. Okay, turn you off. That was just silly me. Okay, so can I get out here now? Yes. Holy schmolies, I don't like this. Alright, well, the obvious choice would be to try to go down. But up is really short. Let's go up. Okay. Just as long as, like, I stay where I'm at. <laughs> oh, f me. You just entered area two, the construction area. If you exit the game now, you can restart here later. Okay. Well, that was scary a little bit. I really did not want to fall to my death. Oh. Ooh, what is this? Incoming power is on. Huh. I'm probably going to have to find some sort of fuses then. Oh, did you see that? That's red, but that's green. I need a box cutter! Oh, I can open up all these, okay. So I have to go find me a knife. I bet you the fact that that's purple and black means something. Where is my box cutter? You. Haha. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? Oh. Oh, it's the fuses for this guy. A keypad. Oh! Oh, snap! That connected! Oh. 
That was accidental, but I I will take it. Connect elevator. Connect elevator. Enable main power. Oh, holy crap, this works. Programming manual. Oh god, I gotta figure out how to do this. Okay. So then I gotta figure out how the hell I get power turned on with just these cables here. With these with these surge breakers. Okay. Red is the incoming power. I have to connect a series of these things together to get power going out purple. I think I got this. So power comes in the top, but nothing comes out the bottom. The one next to it has stuff coming out though, so I'm assuming if I do that, now we're lit up. Before, we weren't getting power. Okay. So my assumption is that's another input. We can ignore that one for now. We should follow the output, which comes in down here. Damn. That logic doesn't work because if the outputs are on the bottom, then no matter how I plug this guy in, the here or here, I know I have no I have no other outputs. So that means the top cables also have to mean something. They they might also be outputs. And if that's the case, then this guy might be an output. Let's plug you in. Yeah, you got power, so you are getting power from over there. Ah, got it. If I hook you up. I knew that! I knew that! Okay. Thinking about this logically, I'm pretty sure these three are correct. I think I'm just missing an extra damn fuse. There's no more boxes to open, right? Yeah, there's no more boxes to open. Alright, you dang developers. You might actually have me stumped here. Oh! Wait a minute! I think I just figured it out. I am not short one. Let me let me prove a concept here. Okay, so power's coming in red. I can have it go out this black. So if I put in a single right there, it goes down to this guy. If I put a single in right there, it blows. The reason it blows is because if you follow this black cable down and around, the black cable goes up into here. Yellow is also connected, which creates a short. My previous logic was I had to insert a fuse into there before that bridge is, is, is completed, before that circuit is completed. But because I don't have to put a fuse in there to complete that circuit, that means I won't have to put a fuse into this guy right here to complete that circuit up there. I was always one short because I was putting a guy in there. I don't have to put a guy in there. Watch this. Okay, so take a look. This is what I had before. Power comes down this black cable here, up into this guy. It jumps over, coming out of this black cable up top, over to this guy. It comes out the black cable here, up into him. Out the top cable, over and down into this guy. Because of that quasi-connectivity thing, these two are actually already connected without a fuse. So power jumps over one to this guy, that's why I've got the green light. That saves one circuit breaker left to win the damn game. Purple power, that's what I needed. Okay, so that is 37D51, 37D03, 27, 37D51, it's scribbled out. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's pull you out. I know, I know I have the answer to you. You are 37CO3. Let's put you in. 37CO3. That's 25227. Wrong code! Son of a bitch. That's not wrong. Oh, 73CO3. Oh, shit. Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, get rid of you. Alright, who do we have here on this guy? 
73A75. Son of a... They're all scribbled out. So then which one am I supposed to use? Alexa, what is 61,251 minus 61,199? 52. Cut that in half, that's 26. Add 26 to this, that is 61,225. If it goes evenly, that means that 73CO3 is 61,225. Gosh, damn it. So it's got to be in that ballpark, though. Okay, I'm going to try 61, 220 and keep going up. Ha! Holy... I knew it had to be in that ballpark, and I was able to guess it. 61, 227. All right, so... Can I go to the lobby? That was a very fast lobby. What the hell? Under construction? Huh. So either the game isn't finished or the lobby itself is actually under construction. Let's try going to the VIP car park. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm the penthouse. Let me go back to my damn car. Oh, don't tell me all the doors are locked. Okay, so those two are a bus. Let's go to C. Alright. Apartment C is also under construction. Okay, so Suite B is where I was. I really like the music. Under construction. Alright, can I go to the roof? You just entered area 3, the roof. If you exit the game now, you can res- okay. You're really gonna... Give me a lot of boxes, aren't you? Oh, this is the uh, the skydiving jump. You want me to jump off the building, don't you? What is this? Oh, it's like a napkin dispenser or something. Can I get a cookie? <laughs> if I'm gonna die by jumping off a building, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go out with some cookies in my stomach. The screen is locked. <laughs> I can call in a drone. I can't. Although, I need the screwdriver. Which means I have to go back downstairs. So it looks like I have to go back downstairs to get that screwdriver. But can I open you? No. Alright, well, it looks like that's step one is to get the screwdriver. So I have a feeling I can unscrew this. Put a parachute on first. <laughs> Why would I ever want to do that? Okay, so there is supposedly ooh, an H. That's probably the code I have to put in. That was an H. What the fuck is the code? that oh my god is that the code is that like smudgy fingerprints oh 
Oh my fucking god, that was a smudgy fingerprint! Wow, I never would have figured that out. But I bet you now that after seeing that, I bet you if I had the hairspray, that would have worked. Any, or the, the, the powder to dust it. Yeah, start the delivery. No, I don't want a party horn. Historical car key. Oh, hell yes, order that. If I somehow... What's up, drone? Uh... Can't find landing marker. Is that what this thing is? Try that again. That is what that is. <laughs> that was cool. Okay. Give it to you. Historical car key. Nice. Okay, I'm going to keep you. Universal access card. That'll get me back into my apartment. Give me that. Okay. I'm going to go take these and put them in the elevator. What else can I order? Can I order a parachute? Crowbar. A crowbar might get me into that. A rock. Don't know what I would need that for. Okay, so give me the crowbar. And what else do I have? I have the party horn and the rock. Yeah, I guess I'll just order it all. <laughs> this thing's heavier than I thought. Okay, so that's everything I think I gotta do here. Let me go back down to my apartment now that I have the key card to get in there. Yep, put you in. Back to the penthouse. Okay, what the hell am I missing? Alright, so what are you used for then? Can I take the key out and open that trunk? Aha! Rope? What the hell is this? Burgla Baklava. Is this a suitcase or... Oh, a lockpick. Holy f*** me. Man, this game is so much more detailed than I was anticipating. You know what? I have a feeling I have to open up the, uh, the lock on the roof. Okay, well that, that does go in there, so that's right. So then I just need, like, give me you, to zoom in, press touch pad button. I cannot believe I have to figure out how to pick a lock. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I saw that on the news. I think I saw the lock type on the news. Let me go back downstairs to my my house. I think I have to watch TV. Introducing the new combination lock, the ST00. Okay, I think I got it. The ST00. It's got to be, ST is the first two, and then this big symbol is actually the last two combined. So I think I need a square, a triangle, and then the double zero, which would be this, no, this guy. Ha ha ha! That worked! Nice. Okay, here we go.
When do I pull the cord? Congratulations, you escaped above the clouds. Oh my god, it took me an hour and a half to beat it. I got that nice vibe shine. Look at that ring. Boom! Perfect ring. <laughs> so, how'd you guys like the episode? I, I totally just spoiled the game for you. I know I did. How'd you like it? Do you like Escape the Room games? I know I am a massive, massive fan of them. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But as always, if you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps me out in more ways than one. And until next time, everybody, be side out.